Hey people, Andrew here, welcome to the Elite League show for Season 5. Today, we've got a best of three Division A game kicking off on Ashes of Typhon. Looking very green, the battlefield. Let's say hello to Guru Skippy as a commander knob. Infiltrating hero that shoots you, stabs you and blows you up. Orky style begins in ranged combat with a twin link shooter up against. Shoulder mount is a war boss. A melee hero that can walk through objects, very good offense, disruption and support from the front lines. Perpetual anger, of course, this is the free booters. DLC. So we're on 294. No changes for Orcs in 294, I don't believe. Luckily, I don't need to remember anything. Double shooters up for both. If you want to find out more about the Elite League Season 5, check out the links in the description. Basically, there's two divisions Division A, Division B. Division A has the more experienced players in it. They'll all play best of three games within the divisions. And if you finish high enough, you get through to the knockout stages. Commando here harassing some shooters. Doesn't even need the stun bomb, apparently. Should kill them with two bursts of his weapon, I think. Killed a model there already. Kills a model here as well. Some headbutts and gun smacks. And they flee. The war boss now moving up the western side. These two natural victory points here. Gonna run into double shooters. We'll see how well this guy can do here. Maybe they spotted him a bit earlier, eh? Because he wasn't all sneaky-like. Sluggers capping up the eastern side, both of them. Yep, are they going to meet? Sluggers at a slug fight. A slug fest. Here are the double shooters again. Did they reinforce? Yeah, just a bit low on health. Got a decap. And now comes to harass the sluggers on the eastern side. Help out his own sluggers. I like how they're so eager to fight each other. But with the commando helping out, those guys need to run. Some melee on retreat for them. Got them very, very low. They do get away though. And they pop their burners on. As they retreat there. Kicking off on the west side, is it? Yep, Warboss took a whole bunch of Dakar to the face. But did get the decap over there. Come on, who continues to prowl. Having a lot of fun at the start here. Almost level 2 already. Still hasn't used that stun bomb. Gets cover from this squad while he shoots the crap out of this squad. But they are now negating the cover going around the side. Maybe he should have used a stun bomb there. Stun these guys while he shot those guys perhaps. we got looters on the field for Guru Skippy. These guys have a death gun which suppresses targets within the firing arc. Just a bucket of bullets strapped to it which I love. Well bolted to it I guess. Pain by on the way for shoulder mount. 472 to 480 very early on. Might be looking to uh, smack the power a bit, or dacker the power a bit. Looters getting that contested power in the mid. Uh oh, burner sluggers versus non-burner sluggers. But here's the dacker, and they do have the big shooters here so they can suppress. But those guys just run anyway. They should be able to get a generator, I think. Here comes a war boss, though. They go straight for the node, in fact. Looters need to set up before the war boss catches them. They're trying to back off here. We'll do a huge amount of damage to units that are close. Pain Boy, this guy's a sub commander that can heal orky units with a heal over time. A very powerful heal over time. War boss is isolated again. Getting shot in the face a lot. Really wants to go after those looters, eh? Gonna need to retreat here, I think. Tries to stomp. Gets the stomp. Might have left it too late. I think they're gonna go down. Yeah. A little bit sloppy there from shoulder mount. Really wanted that stomp. Pain boy grabbing the contested VP. And now the looters can kind of creep forward on this east side. Sluggers are lying in wait and they are a big danger with those burners. I don't think we have them for Guru Skippy. No, he's got double looters up. Are we going to see pain, uh, storm boys for shoulder mount? Can support them of course with the pain boy. Sluggers need to try it. Get some flanking in around this massive rock formation type thing. Well, this crater, I guess it is. Maybe it was a big orc rock that smashed into there. Sluggers of Guru Skippy being used as like capping bots at the moment. Gonna get caught on the west side, are they? Oh, maybe not. Gonna go for that VP. Pain Boy is trying to flank around. But Guru Skippy is live to it, I think. Or maybe not. Looters are facing the wrong way at the moment. We have Sluggers with Ard Boys on them. That's a global ability of the Warboss. 
giving him 25% damage reduction and they get into melee. Pain Boy got caught though by the looters. And here comes that commando, got his better combat kit. More health, more health regen. Because he spends a lot of time sneaking around so the health regen really helps him heal up between fights and engagements and stuff. Storm Boy's on the way. Sluggers did get a full cap on the VP, double now for Guru Skippy. Gonna meet some fully upgraded shooter boys though, there's the knob leader and those big shooters. And they're not gonna finish his cap, I don't think. Don't think they wanna try and run into melee here, yeah, run away fellas. Only dropped one model, I think. So we have the storm boys, they can jump the looters obviously, but most likely Guru Skippy's gonna chain them like this. And uh, Shoulder Man might not actually realise that there's two looters. I'm not sure if he's seen them both, like, in the same place. I think so. Because he was chasing off one and he saw one up there. Which means, yep, suppress one, jump the other. Or not. Here we go, there's a jump. So it does have the tools to deal with it. Use aiming, watch that to suppress one of the looters and wait for their firing to stop and then jump the other one while following up with pain boy support and sluggers of course could be nasty commando still haven't seen him throw his stun bomb he's hanging out near that power at the moment there's another jump on some shooter boys storm boys do have power melee weapons although it doesn't make much of a difference against another orc tier one since there's no heavy infantry around but always nice to have you can chop down Enemy heroes better with them for sure. 454 four to 359. Storm Boy's gonna try a decap, but they're gonna take so much Daka to the back of the head. Down to three models and they get away and they'll power bash here from shoulder mount. Push through, try to act swiftly, get some things done, but Guru's Keeper just broke out a little bit too soon. Commando flees. Didn't want to fight the Pain Boy, I guess, 1v1. 439 to 359, tier 2 for Guru Skippy. Only a matter of time before Shoulder Mount gets there very soon, I think. Although, needs to reinforce some Storm Boys. Just a couple. Lots of Daka. There's the suppression on the looters, but they do get their first burst. Suppression increases the cooldown of your weapon. You don't have a cooldown if you haven't shot yet. So, they do get their first burst away. Tier 2 for Shoulder Mount and the War Truck for Guru Skippy. Here comes that War Boss. No indicator for this guy now since he went down. Little bit of a bug. Almost level 3 for the Commando. War Boss hasn't been able to get up to much, been controlled quite well so far. Pain Boy now getting messed up by some special attacks and knocked over. I think he's going to be alright. But now is not in place to support the Storm Boys and the. Uh, Sluggers there. But he can still throw out war boss globals and stuff. Don't need to be in range for that. Don't even need to be standing up. Here's the war truck. Has a big shooter on the front. Two studious orcs trying to steer it around and shoot stuff. Doesn't do a lot of DPS but does allow you to reinforce units and jump inside. Get some flanks and stuff. Trying to make its way through. And these guys just flee. What's the response then? They can get a knob leader on the storm boys for the heavy melee. There it is, in fact. But we may just see some tank busters too. We're gonna see a power bash with burner sluggers. An attempted power bash anyway. War boss and pain boy are both here. But here's the commando. Doing a good job pushing one side and harassing slash capping the other. Not much they can do about this war truck though, if the sluggers don't get out. Stormboy Knob Leader is there. But it's going to be awkward. Jump on the rear armor, you get shot to death by two looters with death guns. And here's a weird boy now for Guru Skippy. It's going to be tough for Shoulder Mount to maneuver their way out of this. Going for a push. Weird boy gets that basic attack in. Look at that thing. Stormboy is jumping. Going to go for the looters, are they? No, they go for some shooter boys. Weird boy doing work there. Surprised he didn't come forward and use the warp vomit. Sluggers with a knob leader got in there. There is the warp vomit, but they actually missed everything. 
completely missed. Can the Storm Boys get another jump? They can. Well, they saw off the war truck there. Those looters didn't... Oh, I guess they moved back, did they? Oh, they should have stayed where they are. Would have shut down those shooters, although they would have just got jumped anyway. Well done, shoulder mount. Got a war truck of their own. Can maybe get onto the power and stuff, but needs to cap up their map again. Commando being very annoying with all the decaps. All sneaky-like. The shooter boy knobs can see him, but he's doing a good job just avoiding them at the moment. Sluggers get the decap on the VP to stop the tick down and then come to try and sort out the commando. He can't throw his stun bomb because he's ran out of energy with all the sneaking. Any war gear for the war boss? Nope. This generator very low. Where's that weird boy? There he is. Notice that the weird boy has tons of energy. His abilities are really expensive and he gets energy back by being within range of orc wars. So you are encouraged to keep them with your army. Use your choppers on the Storm Boys. Are they going after the war truck with it? I think they're trying to. They just got a pain boy heal there. War boss gets in on the looters. That's nicely done. Those weird boy attacks are painful though. Storm Boys tearing apart the sluggers with you to choppers up. Global ability of the war boss gives them more melee damage and more melee skill. Like 35 melee skill or something crazy. Means that they do more special attacks and suffer less special attacks. The war truck gets away though. I thought it was going to be done for there. Does get away. Might get a full power bash. Weird boy comes back out and shut this down with a warp vomit unless they all jump into the war truck. They're trying to. There we go. Hey, we saw a stun bomb. 374 to 258. Shoulder mounts got themselves right back into this game. Sluggers on the VP. They do have their knob leader. He's got a power melee knife. He's just that strong. Tier 3 for Guru Skippy, though. Not that far off a nuke either, especially since orcs naturally accrue that red resource. Might get an absolute full bash. Lots and lots of Daka. Is the weird boy going to try and shut them down? Nope. His commando's coming in. In tier 3 from Guru Skib. That's a unique call in for the commando knob. Stealthy fellas with good disruption and damage. Don't see any upgrades on the way yet. Don't see... Oh, here we go. I was going to say, don't see any attempt at anti-vehicle. But here's a beamy death gun. I've got those storm boys, of course. War boss with a claw. Nope, he's got the boss pole up. Keeps his boys in line. More health and suppression resistance, which is pretty handy. Pain boy goes for the cap while these guys run at the commando. There's a stun and avoided the stun himself. Really well placed. Got a decap though. I think that's enough here. Fellas, might have to run. There we go. Love the Daka from the Commandos. Awesome disruption at loss for ages. Warboss gets a little stomp and runs away. Is he in retreat actually? Yeah. Double cap now for shoulder mount. Tier 3 as well. And a really cool back and forth. With all the green skins smacking each other. War truck versus war truck. Not sure why the sluggers are going in on it. On rear armor, they could probably do some work, but otherwise their regular melee and power melee attacks are not going to dent the armor very much. I believe power melee does 15% of its damage versus vehicle armor. Guru Skippy may be going for a knob squad here. Has very little power income though. They probably want... Oh, there's a looted tank. I was going to say they probably want a unit before they start thinking about generators. There it is. I always forget this thing is 100 power. Can they push the east side here? I assume something's going to run up the west. Looks like shooter boys have been chosen to shoot the commando at least. He's not sneaking around. 
Looks like he's going to have to retreat there. But did get a full cap on that VP. It's a triple now for Guru Skippy. What is shoulder mount going to go for? Needs a bit more requisition before he can get something. Did the pain boy level? Oh, I didn't level. Does have the string, stronger git source. Turns the heal into... Yeah, pretty damn strong. Also gives the pain boy some buffs as you saw there. That was a bomber boy rocket pack into those commandos from the storm boys. You now jump the loot. The storm boys have been awesome. Have a tank to deal with now though. Some confused capping going on. Looks like a war boss is going to do it. Not able to get the war truck down. Finding some shooters though. The knob leader of these fellas is so big that he stuns you when he lands near you. It's another looted tank. Can the storm boys get onto this war truck? Bomber boy did some work. War truck of shoulder mount goes down thanks to the looted tank, of course. Does not have the reinforced painting yet, though. There's none of that big boom shot stuff going on. Stunbomb doing work against these shooter boys. Much harder to take them down when they've got that knob leader. And then they get into melee with him. But there's some more blue stuff for the Dakar. War truck lives. East side is still red. Here's the looted tank of shoulder mount. Does get the reinforced plating immediately. With that disruptive boom shot. But also Guru Skippy has it now. Can these guys jump on the rear armor? There's a bunch of stuff here. Weird Boy could shut them down, of course, with the warp vomit. Are you going for the VP, Mr. Commando? I guess he's microwing the east side right now. War truck hanging out in the mid. 216 to 181. There's the one to one now. Commando has gone for that VP. Look how much damage the Weird Boy does with his basic attack on that tank. Took a lot of damage, though, the Weird Boy. Beamy Death Gun is persuaded to leave. Storm Boys versus Sluggers all of a sudden very low. Are they going to get finished? There's Ard Boys to try and save them. Where's the heal from the Pain Boy? There it is. There's the heal. They should survive now. Single cap for Guru Skippy. Oh, Commando was taken out though. Levels up the War Boss. I guess there was some Daka and then the War Boss caught him in retreat or something. The tank of Guru Skippy continues to get a bunch of XP pretty quickly here. Gets those guys off the cap. Where is the anti-vehicle? They do have a yeah, they do have a beamy. Not much specific resources put into anti-vehicle though. Commando can get a rocket launcher in tier 3. And a war boss can get a heavy melee weapon. None of that so far. Level 2 Sluggers. These fellas also level 2. There's a bunch of Dakar, but they should finish the cap, I think. There's that big boom shot. Good amount of damage, even on retreat there, it looked like. They finish the cap before the Weird Boy can get that shot in. Here's some sneaky commandos. And those guys have a rocket launcher on the knob leader. There he is. Oh, but he got spotted. Got too close to these detecting shooter boys. We're going for a flank around the back of the looted tank for some rear armor hits there. Storm boys come leaping in. Gonna get rid of the looters pretty quickly. Maybe even take him out, but there's the warp vomit. Well done by Guru Skippy under pressure. Still got the warp vomit out. And the sluggers can't finish it. Looted tank taken out too. The Beamy did a lot of work there, I think. Looters get away, the war truck goes down. But they still have this looted tank to deal with. Pain Boy, I'm guessing, can't throw out the heal right now. Well, they super would be. Tank Busters? No, it's another looted tank for shoulder mount. Where's the knobs? Okay, they're cancelling it. Maybe they're going for a knob squad.
There it is. The dreaded knob squad. We'll see how those fellas can do. They are going to have to get through some suppression. And of course the commander with his stun bomb and potentially other things can help disrupt and stun them and control them. 159 to 158. 1 to 1 cap here. Been a fierce first game. These fellas down to a single model with his death gun. And so are these fellas. There's a 2 to 1 for Guru Skippy. Maybe even a double. Well, boss is not going to be happy though. Knob squad now for Guru Skippy. Shoulder mount cancels the knob squad. Is it battle wagon time? I assume so. Those guys got the decap. Well done, fellas. Warboss did a special attack out of sheer frustration and misses. Warboss is now going to get shot up by a tank. Weird boy using the remains of the war truck as cover there. Oh, love the Daka into a rocks. Really well played by Guru Skippy. Man, there's nothing they could do about it. Even if you retreat immediately, you need to wait for the animation to get up again after the Love the Daka. Yes. And uh, that might have broken shoulder mount right there. Gonna get a full power bash, they've got a double. Commando's really good at bashing power, as you can see. Weird boy leveled up there. Didn't even need to use the warp vomit, just Love the Daka into rocks. Commando's still down as well. Looted tank is now level 2, fully repaired. Showed him out with one more, one more throw to dice, maybe. Did get a tank in the end. Has a lot of red as well, could drop a rocks. I was thinking Knob Squad with a well timed call, the boys could do a huge amount of work. And they lowered the cost of call, the boys, I think, in 293. Stone boys jumping in. Should get a couple of hits, maybe. Smack. But not really enough to threaten it. It's got 915 hit points at level 2. It's not bad. Do have to purchase the reinforced painting for that, though. Hard boys and user choppers on these storm boys. Really wants them to win that melee fight there. And now they're going to fight a knob squad. But there's the warp vomit. Completely changes that fight. If they had a chance anyway, I mean they were fully buffed up, but they were super low against the knob squad. Down they go there. And it's a single for Guru Skippy. Gonna win this game, I think, and take game one. Trying to get the east side back is the pain boy. There's GG from Shoulder Mount. It was a GG. At the level 3 commando at the end did so much great work on this west side and popping up with his harassment here and there. War boss kind of struggled to get into it, didn't he? You'll often see this, what the Warboss just uses like a capping tool in a 1v1 until late game. Could never really get going. I think Shodmount should have got those knobs up earlier. Especially with Warboss buffs and Calder Boys recently reduced in cost. Could have really pushed on through, especially if Storm Boys jumping over their heads and stuff. Would have been really difficult to deal with. He can't warp vomit them all if they arrive at different times and stuff. But there you have it. There's game one, and I'll see you in game two. Welcome to game two of this Division A best of three matchup. We're on Vulcan Pits and Guru Skippy has found a Ravana Alpha. Tunneling hero with great mobility, powerful offense and a bit of support begins with the ranged weapon can get specialized melee gear. Red side, shoulder mount, has an Eversor Assassin. Risk reward brawler that explodes on death fighting in melee combat. So we have a contested VP in the southeast corner. Naturals to the west and to the north. Kind of like Fedrid Folly layout, I think, in terms of the points. I believe that's right. But obviously, 
much different structure. We've got double stormtroopers here for shoulder mounts and double termigants. So 294, the Eversar Assassin got a bunch of buffs. I thought he looked pretty powerful from the games I saw, but apparently his win rate wasn't super great. Not sure how much data they had for that, but he got some, uh, basically a bunch of cost reductions on his war gear. We'll see how that goes. Found some termigants. Only starts with 690 hit points as you can see, so he's being torn up here by this ranged fire. Didn't even get to use his Psycon, one of his favourite things to do. We do have a strike squad up. Kind of a supportive melee squad, can hold their own in tier 1, but do fall off a bit in their melee effectiveness as the game goes on. Hormagorns, one of the other squads that actually got a change in 294, they now do less damage by default. But if you get their adrenal glands, they go back up to how they would have been in 293 with adrenal glands. So out the gate a little bit weaker. Triple Hormagons openings with the Ravenna Alpha was super, super popular and strong in 293. That was basically the Tyranid meta. Triple Hormagons or double Hormagons into Ravenna's with a Ravenna Alpha. Single cap here early on for Guru Skippy. Eversaw gets a kill. Little chunk of XP already. Now found some Termigants. Does have that longer charge range by default. I think it's 15 instead of the standard 12. And he's got a war gear that makes it even longer, I think. Unless that was changed at some point. Just used a Psycon there. Which takes 100 health off him. Takes a hit of health, but gets 30% more damage. And 30% damage resistance. A little bit of a waste, though. Didn't actually get to smack anyone with it there. Only affects his weapon attacks. So his abilities won't get a 50% 30% uh, bonus. So that would be mental. Strat Squad have some heavy cover now, can outshoot the Termigants. Just hanging out. Stormtroopers will fight a Ravenna Alpha. He might get into melee with them. Maybe. It's only light cover. I love relics, arbitrary rules. Why are these rocks only light cover? Got some purgation now for shoulder mount and raveners on the way for Guru Skippy. These guys got a cost increase, well a power cost increase. I think they were 42540 before, now they're 445. And their population went up, I think. From 4 to 5 per model, I believe. Here comes the Eversar Assassin. Did not pop Psycon that time, maybe he thinks he's going to be under a bunch of shooty shooty. There we go, Psycon is popped. Waiting for the Hormogaunts to show their face, I suppose. Purgation couldn't quite get the suppression on the Hormogaunts there. Stormtroopers pushing forward. And Strat Squad in retreat path. Couldn't get any hits in though. Ravenna Brood are up. Starting with those ranged Devourer weapons. They also got a very handy Burrow Strike for disruption. Stormtroopers here, very low. Confident enough to get a decap rather than run away though. These guys now getting low. Ravenna's getting shots in. Peeling models off. Strike Squad getting into melee. Hormagaunts do get their adrenal glands up. Have they changed the tooltip? There you see it. Now it's damage up by 22% because it takes them up to the old adrenal gland values from their now lower default damage. 427 to 487. Strike Squad in heavy cover. These tank traps are heavy cover. Tied up in melee. Oh, we got a special attack immediately. Raven Alpha went flolloping back. And they did not drop a model there. Meanwhile, maps turned very red for shoulder mounts. Got double purgation up. They should be able to suppress pretty damn quickly, I would think. We'll see here. Some good damage as well. Raven a borrow strike. I think they were using purge by flame there. You see the red debuff circles? That's their ability that slows you down rather than suppresses you, which means, you know, it happens instantly and they can use it on stuff that can't be suppressed. Warrior Brood on the way for Guru Skippy. At least I think that's how that works. Might be going for... I wonder if he's going for Barb Strangler to help control these Grey Knight units. Purgation are typically going to be blobbed together. Most likely they're on a single control group and stuff. So they might all get hit by a single Barb Strangler. 389 to 487. Eversar Assassin doesn't want to run into that, I suppose. 
I guess both players thinking about tier 2 here. No war gear in tier 1. No upgrades for the stormtroopers either. Reverend Alpha coming up the western side might be looking at that VP afterwards. Ever so maybe going for the power with the purgations. Nope, turns to engage the Tyranid Blob. Raven Alpha's not here. Took a while to get their flame on, but they did suppress the Warrior Brood. There's a Psychon popped from the Everser Assassin. Gets in on the Warriors. Did take a model. Ravenna's with a Burrow Strike. Just to facilitate their escape a little bit, but I think that would have been okay. Yeah, couldn't do much against all this. And it is a Barb Strangler on the way. Okay. I thought it would come a little bit sooner. If they can't get into melee with double purgation. They can't reliably get into melee anyway. There it is. An instant suppression and some decent damage too, especially if it hits all the models in the squad. Ravana Alpha getting into melee. Doesn't have one of his melee war gear yet, but still can do some work for you. Barb Shangler's going to make a big difference, but has that set them behind? They lost a lot of the map there. They've got that barb trigger up, I think, a little bit sooner. That was the banishment thrown out. Former Gaunts with the adrenal glands now on the VP. I think they've got back it, got the map back relatively well here and relatively quickly. Warrior Brood are quite low. I wonder if he'll retreat them to reinforce a bit. There's the tier two for shoulder mounts. Guru Skippy won't be far behind though. I want to see a Dreadnought. I want to see a Dreadnought stomping around. Ever saw sort of seize off those Hormogorts. Hardened Carapace on the way for Guru Skippy allows him to burrow indefinitely and then come up and stun and knock stuff back. And they don't have a Detect unit right now, shoulder mount. So at least initially that could be super effective. There it is. Also gives a bit of health and energy regen and energy. There he is borrowing immediately to go after, oh, go after the purgation. Strat Squad did not drop a model there. Is he still, yeah, he's still tracking these guys. Doesn't have a melee weapon though. Barb Strangler can't quite get the shot in, but now he's got obviously vision over this stuff he can bring he knows to bring the warrior brood over here those guys run going for the crippling talon nope cancels it i want to see the acid splatter is a rhino on the way for shoulder mount transport vehicle that can reinforce units in the field starts with a pintle mounted storm bolter but he can purchase another weapon for the slot at the back which basically turns it into a razorback i believe psychon is popped Maybe a little bit early. Taking a bunch of damage here. Whole bunch of damage and controlled by the Krypton Poison. Maybe we'll see the charge. Although, even if you charge, you still can get crippled and stuff. That was nasty for the Hormogaunts. That damnation. Sorry, banishment. I always call it damnation for some reason. 312 to 414. Warrior Brood are going to finish the cap. Suppressing the purgation as they do is the Rhino gun for the heavy bolter on the whatever you would call this mount, the mount at the back. No Justicar for the Strike Squad yet. Level 2 Ebersa and the Raven Alpha does go for the Krypton Talon slows down and debuffs the damage of whatever it hits. I think it's I think it's on a per model basis, isn't it? Speed and damage by 40%. I think it's a per model basis, which is a little bit unfortunate. 312 to 370. Although slowing down a single model does kind of slow down the whole squad because they have to stay in coherency and stuff. You know, sneaky. I wonder if you can take on the Eversaw now. Eversus certainly knows how to kill stuff. Got some shots in on these guys. Only dropped two models though. That is a nasty burst of damage those guys are doing though. Hormogaunts found some strat squad or was that purgation? 
it out as purgation. Ducked into the Rhino. And Guru Skippy getting a full power bash, maybe. Raven Alpha's busy capping that contested power in the northwest corner. Warrior Brood get the VP. Gonna drop a model pretty soon, though. Looks like they have retreated in time. And a Venom Brood on the field for Guru Skippy. They do have their ranged synapse as well. They are there to hunt down the Rhino. Banishman doing some good work on this little blob of stuff. Trying to get into melee, but they get crippled. Can chain another cripple in there, maybe? There it was, but they did retreat anyway. Ravenna Alpha. Oh, that's the Eversert on the northwestern corner, not the Ravenna. My bad. Still no war gear for this fella? Nope. Don't think he's realised there's Hormagaunts here. Gonna turn the fight, there we go. Cyclone is popped. I probably would have stayed in that fight. With the Adre Adrenal Gland Hormagaunts, I think they would have tore him up. He's got no war gear. 299 to 339. They don't want to drop models, I suppose, and risk it. So how are they going to approach? We don't see this guy. Oh, he's borrowing now. Venom Brood there, providing ranged synapse to the Ravenom Brood and the two Termagants. Making them way more effective. I don't know if these guys can stand against it. Since the uh, Strat Squad were made less of a shooty shooty unit, they can struggle to have range superiority for Auto Malleus. But they're super good in melee typically with their purifiers and stuff. We don't, haven't seen any here. Location with silencers. No, I'm not sure how much damage it does to retreating units, management. I'm going to assume not very much. Did well, though. Shoulder mount pushed them all the way back there. Here comes a Tyrant Guard. We do have some plasma guns. And the silencers should be pretty e relatively effective against a Tyrant Guard. I mean, it's not burst damage, but it's good DPS if you can keep them in place or just away from the... Purgation, tying them up and stuff. 2-5-3 to 3-2-4. I assume the operative's going to break their retreat again here. Unless it's on cooldown. Does have a fairly lengthy cooldown, I think. Yep, they went all the way back to base. Tyrant Guard's going to be up soon. Any war gear for the Eversun? Nope. Uh-oh. Look at the damage delivered 
He was using the bio meltdown there. And it did some work. Certainly did some work. That's one of his global abilities. It's quite expensive, 175 red. But he constantly does damage to nearby units when it's active. Also drains his own health. And then explodes on death for big damage. And as you can see, left a hole in Guru Skippy's army there. Hormagons are down. Termigants are down. Reverend Alpha has found some stuff to smack. Does that even get a debuff circle now? Maybe it does affect the whole squad. Those guys use their rending to really rip through the Raffinite Alpha there. Now doing some good work to the Tyrant Guard. This fella has heavy melee damage with a small splash. Don't really want to stand in prolonged melee combat with this fella typically. Unless you're a knob squad or something. See a council I assume would do pretty well as well. Can you get a model? Not quite. Raven has dropped in. 218 to 324. That bio meltdown really did a lot of work over here. Gonna get a very brief triple, maybe. There it is. They are decapping here though. Threat squad have their justice car. Does he not? Oh, he gets a sword instead of a halberd. Purgation running off. Tyrant Guard needs to heal up now. So a lot of damage from those uh, silencers. Did more than I thought they would. Raven Alpha. It's going to fight the Strike Squad. Here we go. Raven and Brood to help out too. Oh, we do get a red, red debuff circle. There it is. Couldn't see it on the Stormtroopers for some reason. It does seem to be per model. Another Rhino on the way. I can't even remember what happened to the first one. There's the remains of it. I guess it was chased back to base by the Venom Brood. At some point, while well, I was looking somewhere else. 163 to 324. Yeah, these are rending silences. Bad news for that Ravenite Alpha. Really messing them up. Didn't reinforce that model though, which means they have one less. Power just went down over there. Triple for shoulder mount. And tier 3 for shoulder mount. Operatives have done a good job. Like, capping up stuff. Tons of damage into the Eversaw's face. Can they finish him off? They can. That was the explosion on death there. Double cap. Maybe Guru Skippy can get back out there. Where's the Tyrant Guard? Still healing up, eh? Oh, he just retreated the wrong unit, apparently. Oh, you have to move, fellas. There we go. Get onto the VP. Bash the power. Some contested points here you can get to. Overcharge Plasma into a bunch of ranged DPS. There's an incendiary grenade. Pretty effective. Seems to have quite a fast flight time there, too. Other grenades are kind of a bit loopy. Raven Alpha runs. Now has regenerate. 80 to 324 on the VPs. Looks like shoulder mount is going to bring this back to one win each here. Evers is still down. Is that the Tyrant Guard coming through the mid? It is. Burrow Strike. Wow, hit everything. Here come the strike squad. Need to hit them with the barb strangler maybe. Tried to split and avoid the banishment. 63 to 324. I think they fought through. They took some losses, but they fought through to the VP here. And now they have a turret guard in tow. Gonna soak up some damage if nothing else. Really, they they send the warrior brood, the single warrior brood fell into cap. Seems kind of dangerous. Down he goes. Didn't get a decap either. 49 to 324. And look at the tier 3 now for shoulder mount. Has tons of red. Can get some Grey Knight Terminators very soon. What can you do, Tyrant Guard? You're going to eat a melter from the uh, 
operatives, that's what you're gonna do. As well, I thought that was removed though. Four to two, eight two on the VPs. Rapping Alpha's being proactive going after this purgation here. There we go. Should deal with them quite well. Still has to double a lot of VPs to make up though, huge amount. There's still a very big ask for, Gur for Guru Skippy. Grey Knight Terminator's on the way for shoulder mount. That's going to fill his population up completely. And that's a big problem for Guru Skippy. Here's the uh, purgation. He got away with two models, barely. And what is this? Threat Squad went for the VP. Borrow striking in. Stops the cat, at least. And they go straight back to it. Can they kill models here? What level are these fellas? Level 2, almost level 3. Venom Brood won't be able to hit them effectively, really. Is that they're going to deal with the Ravenous? Nope. Persuaded to leave. I guess they, even if they did beat them, they're not going to get the cap in time. Single now for Guru Skippy. Granite Terminator is three quarters of the way there. Current Guard continues to do some good work. Soaking up tons of damage. And so far, surviving. Now in amongst these fellas, look at that splash damage just melting them. Ace turret's kicking in, but he should have to shrug off that piercing damage relatively well. You know what? Did not shrug it off. These guys started to get plasma gun shots in, and these guys went into some very brave melee. And got him down. 4 to 218 on the VPs. Shoulderman has something capping the southeast there. Where is the Ebersa? It's gone out of base now. There he is. And we have Grey Knight Terminators, of course. With their splash damage, power melee halberds. And bucket full of health. There's GG from Guru Skippy. He knows that they can't compete with this. And the 2 to 1 is going to tick down. Before they can get our base, probably. So it is going to go. One win each into the third deciding game for this series in Division A and I'll see you there guys. Welcome back to the third deciding game 
of this Division A Elite League Season 5 matchup. We're on Seraph Palace and Guru Skippy's gone green again with a Mech Boy, a teleporting hero that fights in ranged combat, puts out some good damage and has a bunch of orky gadgets. Shoulder mount sticking with the Automanius, going with the Brother Captain this time, a very durable hero that walks through objects and cannot be suppressed. Powerful disruption and support fighting in melee. For those that don't know, each player has to choose five heroes before the league starts. And they can't use the same hero twice in the same match. Really interested to see how sluggers, perhaps with their burners, stack up to tier one strat squad in melee. Maybe we'll see it. Typically, sluggers are kept out of trouble for the opening fights, though, and left to cap things. There's no contested, sorry, no natural VPs on this map. All contested down the middle. Looks like the stormtroopers are going to grab this northwest one soon. Mechboy teleported up and grabbed the mid. And the southeast one, I assume, is going to be sluggers soon. Strike squad going to get some heavy cover here, are they? Yep. We'll be able to outshoot the shooters pretty well. Could have this guy teleport in, but then what? You have to like try and get the shooters around the side or something. Brother Captain's getting a decap. Oh, he's going to stay there for the cap, is he? Maybe. Nothing else out for shoulder mount, so I assume we're going to see some purgation here. Guru Skippy, I want to see a pain boy, because I think a pain boy, by himself, if he heals himself, could do some good work against the strat squad in melee. Good damage on the brother captain. Mechboy had to teleport out though and retreat. 496 to 473 very early on. And these guys don't really want to try and maneuver themselves around the strat squad to get a favorable fight. So they'll push up through here. Sluggers will finish that cap, maybe join them. Strat's got to have pushed up to forward cap this wreck point now. And the stormtroopers in relative peace were able to cap up the northwest completely. Two generators up here for shoulder mount. So yeah, we do see the purgation. No gens for Guru Skippy, but a pain boy is up. He's an orky sub commander that can heal orcs over time. Including himself. And explode them in tier 2. Including himself. 470 to 473. Strike squad backing away from the pain boy, but here we go. They do have some stormtrooper support. There's the heal on himself. Mech boy is now coming in to help. There's a special attack, but yeah, he's doing some really good work here. As you can see, I think he's going to get a model. Boom. Got a model off those guys. Pain boy kicking some ass. Looks like Purgation and the brother captain found the sluggers, though. Purgation with these incinerators that can suppress units. You can also use the Purge by Flame ability just to slow them down and stuff. Double Purgation as we saw in the previous game from Shoulder Mount. Although last time there were double Stormtroopers as well. See some Pain Boy, uh, some Storm Boys now from Guru Skippy. Would be pretty fun. No Sluggers yet. I mean no Slugger Burners yet. Yeah, not a lot of power income either. Some Daka. Need a bit of Daka. Make boy grabbing the power node and telling him not to touch it. It's a big push here by shoulder mount. Could get straight onto the power afterwards and do some real work. Brother Captain just in on the uh, shooter boys. Not a lot they can do about it. You can't suppress him with aiming. What's that? Got to be careful of that pain boy though, of course. And here are the sluggers on the prowl. And it is Storm Boys on the way for Guru Skippy. Brother Captain goes for the Force Sword. So we did get some buffs in 294, the Brother Captain. Some of his war gear. Got some cost reductions. We Are The Hammer is slightly better out the gate now with a 15% damage reduction rather than 10%. There's a jump from the Storm Boys. In amongst some purgation, yep, and they didn't really want to deal with also a pain boy and sluggers coming in there. So what's the plan now? We do have Tomes of Titan. I mean, the Storm Boys jump in, just like turn everything on them, but you're also going to need to deal with sluggers and pain boy coming in, not to mention whatever this mech boy gets up to. Brother Captain's going to need to do some work here, I think. Going forward, the Blessed Aegis gives him that handy shield and the 
strike squads start with purification these days so they can give him some energy to power the shield with. Surprised I haven't seen it already. Maybe we have Pain Boy is a little bit isolated here. Can he retreat out of that? Now it gets knocked aside. Banishment just went flying in some shooter boys. Storm boys trying to get some work then they did kill one and miraculously didn't drop a model. Well done fellas. So I managed to get rid of them that time. We see Unending Purge gives 0.85% of his maximum health per hit, including ranged attacks as you just, as you just saw there. Bit of energy regen too, helps him power the shield. Not quite as efficient as other shields I think, 3.5 to 1. I think other shields are typically 5 or 4 to 1. Gives a decap on the mid. Oh. Must have suppressed and scared off the strat squad with a death gun. How many Stormboy models are going to fall in tier 1? None yet. Purgation did a good job power bashing there. Might get a full bash in fact. Can they suppress the sluggers? They can. Still trying to get into melee does a Stormboy jump. Can't suppress stuff if it's in mid-air, I suppose. 417 to 429. I would have been purged by flame. And it was stacking with the suppression, I think. Is that intended? It looked like that's what was happening. It got healed up, though, by the pain boy super effectively. And that no-fuse grenade was chucked in there. Brother Captain puts up his shield. Down the mech boy with his death gun. Shield goes down. And now... I think it should be okay. Unless the Stormblades jump again, even if they do, and I don't think they'll finish them off. This Strat Squad should not be running into this fight. Oh, maybe. The big old special attack, then a banishment. That was pretty effective. I thought they were going to get chopped to pieces there. The special attack saved them. Did they actually drop a model? They did drop one model to Stormblades. They've done really well so far, though. Some timely heals going in from the Pain Boy. You can't set up while you cap. So I'm kind of surprised that they're using the mech boy to cap here. But it's going to get done without fuss. Sluggers doing their capping. No burners on these fellas. Just using the sluggers and the pain boy for the melee front. Most of the time. Lots of Dakar all going into that single model there. And there's the storm boy jump. They did get a heal as they jumped in as well. Can they get onto the power? Shoulder has isolated the sluggers. And it's not a fight they want to take. Off they go. Brother Captain doesn't have a way to attack quickly. Which would make Unending Purge heal on hit a bit more useful. A lot of it's about the energy regen you get. 391 to 398 on the VPs. Might be a full bash here. It is. The node has already been repurchased. But that was alright. Got the bash. Tier 2 for shoulder mount. What is this? What am I hearing? Are oh, you fellas? Snuck in there, did you? Not sure what the brother captain was doing over there. Probably smacking something for the emperor. Most likely the mech boy, actually. Can you get a decap, are you? Nope. There we go. From the back is going to get a decat so he can shoot stuff maybe. There we go. It's working. Rhino on the way. Shield goes up. Is he going to try and finish the decat? I guess so. Stormboys see off the purgation pretty quickly. Does get the decap and lives. Well played. And Strike God trying to decap the wreck point. Not sure why these guys retreated. I guess they were a little bit isolated for a second there. Tier 2 for Guru Skippy. Going to have a Rhino to deal with. So we might see some of them tank busters. It's always fun to see tank busters just chucking missiles out of those rocket launchers. Or rockets, I guess. The shadows over here are a bit weird. Warp Trickery. 390 to 376 on the VP. Single cap here for shoulder mount. Here's the Rhino. 
gone for that heavy bolter turret on the mount again. Do we see a knob leader uh, queued up? We don't. Just chasing down the shooters. And gets rid of him as you may expect. Pain Boy got very low there. Was that all purgation incinerator damage? Maybe it was already low. Storm boys jump in, oh, to get a power bash. Might be ill-advised, fellas. Super ill-advised, run away. No? Purgation just stopped shooting them there. Confident they would flee. And they were right. It is tank busters for Guru Skippy. We did not see this in the Orc versus Orc game. When there were trucks and looted tanks. A lack of tank busters. Now they cost 15 power these days, of course. 368 to 362. One to one cap. Very, very close on VPs. I feel like Shot has got slightly the better of the engagements. It's very close, though. And did tech up first. Here comes a Terminator Librarian. Can use the Sanctuary to mess with these Storm Boys. I guess, though, after they jump. When they have those few seconds of knockback immunity, the Sanctuary won't affect them. But still pretty effective. Here comes the Storm Boys. No bleed up, ready to roll. Like stand the Librarian next to the Rhino. And use that Sanctuary. Might not be effective for those first few seconds, but it will eventually start knocking a back Tank Buster Barrage. Gonna drive forward, there we go, dodges most of it. Tank buses will start getting shots in, and the brother captain couldn't get in there to tie them up. Look how effective they are, those rockets. They got it, they did get it. Grenade goes in a little bit late to save them. And there's the sanctuary from the Terminator Librarian. Does have a power weapon himself, and he's got Terminator armor on, so you can't suppress this guy. Taking a lot of damage though. Needs to run off. That's a big win for Guru Skippy, getting that very quick Rhino kill. And he can still use the tank buses for disruption and bashing power and stuff. Looks like we had the uh, Love the Daka global on the shooter boys here. And Love the Daka they do. That was a. Banishment flying in, did some good work on those bunched up shooters. Or is the global called Mordaka? I was getting confused. One of them's the commando ability, one of them's the mech boy global. Jumping in on the strat squad, stunning them. And this is bad news with the pain boys there too. Brother Captain doesn't have a great way, aside from the sanctuary, of fighting the storm boys. Gonna see it here. There it is. How long does it last for? Let's see if we can count it out here. It's about five seconds. I bet it's ten. It's a really cool effect. Seemed like about ten seconds to me. Another rhino on the way for shoulder mounts, which I was super not expecting. Mech boy getting death gun shots in, not suppressing the librarian, but doing decent damage at that range. Storm boy is getting a good jump. Black squad are there, throw out their banishment, and did some good work. Did some good work alongside the purgation. And wow, did they drop a model? They did drop, they did drop models. They did drop models. Two four eight to three three nine on the VPs. Here's Rhino number two. No back mounted weapon yet. Oh, there we go. Another heavy bolt up. Tank busters are having to reinforce like crazy. I was not expecting another runner to come out. Gonna be a two to one for shoulder mount here. Sluggers, poor sluggers didn't get a single upgrade yet. Stormtroopers getting shots in here. Yeah, they don't really want to approach that because they've got that grenade and stuff. Nobody's touched the prayer station yet, though. 
it's safe. Okay. What is the plan here? Have they seen the Rhino even? I don't know if they've seen the second Rhino. It's a death dread on the way. Banishment doing some work. Got that grenade as well. Can use that to disrupt the tank clusters. Doesn't do a huge amount of damage these days though. But Gation roasting some shooter boys. Level 2 brother captain. Terminator Librarian doesn't have any upgrades yet. It's all about that sanctuary. He's isolated himself though. Can't really protect the Rhino here. There's a tank buster barrage on the purgation. Did a lot of damage. Hit them quite flush. Storm boys smacking up these purgation. Getting a model quite quickly, but only one. No, they got two. They got two. Going after the infantry first, clear those guys out. And then maybe try and get the Rhino. Where's the pain boy? Oh, he's capping. No heal for you fellas. He's a death dread now. Got rid of the Terminator Librarian. Does have the burners and bits, up to 950 hit points. Are we gonna see? Yep, already see some silences here. And more silences. Stormtroopers leveling up to what? Two? To two. Painboy running off to the northwestern corner. I thought he'd stay near his Stormboy buddies. They kind of need him. Death Dread's going to maybe get an attack. No, look how the work those burners are doing, though. Bloody hell. There's fanaticism for a couple of seconds of damage immunity, and they needed it. Tank Busters, look at that. Already the damage they've done to that Rhino. 1 2 2 to 3 3 1 on the VPs. Silence just trying to get shots in on the Death Trade, doing a good amount of work here, you know. Wow, two squads of them really mess up a vehicle, don't they? Rhino gets away for now. But the captain smacking through some sluggers. Are oh, they just been thrown away for population? They might have been. Triple tap for now for Guru Skippy. Mechboy went down in the middle of all of that. Rhino chasing off the pain boy, maybe. Oh, he's running away, more like, from the tank busters. Something white to Guru Skippy. Oh, the sluggers. Who else? The death dread went down. 1, 2, 2 to 270 on the VPs. Double cap here for Guru Skippy. Not going to last long, though. Oh, look at this. It's the Canticle of Absolution, I believe. Global ability for the Brother Captain, which gives energy and I think, yeah, some health regen, too. Pretty effective. Another Rhino? No. Cancelled for Tier 3. Banishment thrown out. It really is messing up those Storm Boys, you know. It's getting it before they jump. And it's really messing up. Let's call the boys. Reinforcing the Storm Boys. Mind Blades up, though, on the Strat Squad. And they're really messing up the this, this Storm Boys. GG there, says Guru Skippy. A couple of good uses of Globals. We saw the Canticle of Absolution and then the Mind Blades really messed up the Storm Boys. And that Banishment, I tell you. Does Banishment, does it... I wonder if it gets... I know it gets more powerful with the Adjuster card, but does it get more powerful as they level up as well? Because that seemed super strong, that Banishment they threw out at the Storm Boys there before they jumped. Purgation level 3, level 3. They did some good work with the Silencers. Surprised how quickly they tore down that Death Dread. Tank Busters survived. Level 2 mech with a level 3 brother captain and shoulder mount takes the series 2 to 1 in this Division A game. Plenty of time for Guru Skippy to make up points though and get through to the knockout stages. Thank you for watching guys. Don't forget to check out the uh, links in the description about the Elite League Season 5. There's some people streaming games as well. Maestro, I think Oceans is streaming games. I'll try to get those links in the description too. But thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.